Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. If you guys didn't know, today is the start of the War Thunder boycott that is supposed to last 14 days. And it is going to be a mix of people who flat out will not play or purchase anything from Gaijin to those who might even still play the game but will not purchase it. So if nothing else, in its lightest definition, this is people not purchasing anything from Gaijin. But again, the majority of people, and I'll go over this in just a moment because I do have statistics for this, will not even be playing the game. So it's a pretty interesting time. And quite frankly, this past week is probably the weirdest and probably also the most historic week in War Thunder history even beyond all the leaks and all of that of classified information this week takes the cake and we have actually started seeing this hit mainstream press with articles from pc gamer and some other ones pc gamer actually featured tankenstein so thank you so much they even said my name was brilliant which is really really nice whoever made that pc gamer article i do appreciate you including that and also quoting me so if i remember i'll try to link that article down below because it actually was a pretty interesting article but you also have people like Asmongold, for example, commenting on it. Suffice it to say, it's reached a lot of people, and people outside of War Thunder and its community are starting to notice. Now, that being said, when it comes to the boycott, boycotts have a very specific or very simple definition. And that definition is, and this is for the Oxford English Language Dictionary, it is to withdraw from commercial or social relations with a country, organization, or person as a punishment or protest. So in this instance, the player base is boycotting Gaijin, which is an organization. Thus, it does fit in with the term. Now, boycotts have a tremendous history of huge importance across many countries. This is interestingly a digital international boycott, which I'm sure those have happened before, but I've certainly not heard of it. So this is uh, a little piece of digital history everybody is taking part in. And by everybody, I'll go over the stats now. So about eight or nine hours, ago I released a poll so it's not been all too long but I've gotten 14,000 votes in this and I asked do you plan on joining the War Thunder boycott and the results are astonishing I did not expect them to be quite like this so out of the 14,000 people that have voted at least as of the recording of this audio 62% have said yes I will stop playing and purchasing from Gaijin bear in mind this is a two-week boycott i'm actually kind of surprised it's not longer or will go until at least the roadmap is released because from how it sounds we're not going to get any sort of information or changes until at least june 14th which i think is a big problem from gaijin they should really have done something immediately or close to it but of course, we will at least have to wait a minimum, likely until June 14th. So 62% of 14,000 people will stop playing and purchasing altogether from Gaijin, which is remarkable. 27% said that they will still be playing, but they will not be spending any money, which basically means that 89% of 14,000 people who maybe had spent money in the past, who may be currently spending money on Gaijin for maybe Golden Eagles, let's say, for example, 89% of that 14,000, so around 12,500, will not be spending any money even if they are playing. And then 11% said, no, I will not participate in the boycott, which, hey, you know, it is their right. If you do not want to participate in the boycott, that is up to you and it is totally fine. Although, of course, as you could see, 89%, at least of the respondents to my poll, if you guys want, check out my poll in the community tab so you guys can get in on it. 89% are not going to be playing War Thunder or at very least will not be spending any money, which is, again, remarkable. Now, when it comes to my plans for the War Thunder boycott, I'll be somewhere kind of in between that larger and smaller percentage who will be participating. As a content creator who actually needs the money produced by my YouTube, and being that I have more or less a purely War Thunder YouTube, I'm going to have to still create content, but what I will be doing is I'll be releasing pretty much exclusively content that I've already created and uploaded. I'll try to stay away from reviews if I can until the update comes out, at which point I might release some reviews. I'm not entirely sure, but again, I'll just be working off of about the dozen or 
so already uploaded videos on my channel because that'll probably carry me through the end of the boycott without having me play really at all. Now I will be releasing some hopefully some history content within about the next week or so so I might play some War Thunder for that just so I can get some footage of for example the T-54, T-55 because I will be releasing a video hopefully soon on the history of those vehicles so again bear that in mind but from how I could tell, I mean, I personally have very little interest in playing War Thunder at this point in time. This whole thing has just kind of made me just not want to play. And that's quite amazing because I've loved playing War Thunder for probably about the last five, six years. I've more or less consistently played it definitively for over three years now. And the fact that this has made me stop playing it because last week I was still having a lot of fun with the game. Now I just barely want to log in anymore. And I guess that's just kind of how... The state of the game is now with that said and I say with that said quite a bit so my apologies with that what it comes down to is that the recent dev blog that Gaijin released saying that they will be taking this roadmap and all that words are nice but action is necessary and again I'm just kind of shocked that Gaijin did not want to say hey we'll have something out by June 1st or something that would be much more immediate it almost kind of feels like they're waiting for the storm to blow over I'm hoping that's not the case but if nothing else Else, this is certainly a step in the right direction but again we need to climb back up that slippery slope that we've been falling down for all these years and new players may not realize it but Gaijin and War Thunder it has not always been like this of course there's always been a worsening of the economy but it used to be better at one point where you used to be able to log in get golden eagle wagers occasionally you'd be able to get two times rp i believe it was even five times at some points for playing the first match with a specific nation of the day so it was really a nice time at one point to play war thunder and you weren't constantly feeling like you had to get like odd boss said a nuke in order to profit <laughs> you know and ground forces so just want to get back to that point but of course going back to the boycott use the time away from the game for self-improvement whether it's working out hiking meeting new people creating things literally touching grass or whatever it doesn't matter at all use this time to really improve your life trust me guys if you can get into a good habit within a few weeks you might not even want to come back to war thunder once you've discovered hey there's something better out there you might not want to of course old people like me we're going to be sticking around because again i'm a content creator so i'm kind of chained at the hip to war thunder in some ways but again i think that this is going to be very interesting because at the end of this two-week boycott if people actually keep to it how many people are actually going to come back i mean what is war thunder going to look like in about two two and a half weeks one month even is this going to drop player numbers by any substantial or noticeable amount who knows and i really think that gaijin has already dug themselves into a hole that at least for the most part they're not going to be able to get themselves out of unless they make huge changes and even still the people who left they've probably left for good at least a good amount of them so we'll have to wait and see what happens at the end of this two weeks but i've got a strong feeling that a good portion of the players will not be back regardless of whatever Gaijin does and even still the players who do come back will probably be very wary and a good chunk still will not be happy with what Gaijin implements because more likely than not knowing their history it's going to be a little bit substandard but again we have to hope that something good will come of this now that being said thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your thoughts are on the boycott in the comments below will you be coming back to war thunder have you already left I'm interested to hear everybody's opinion about pretty much everything in this video. By the way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.